Which premium electric SUV is safer between the Audi e-tron and the Tesla Model X? I'm Jonathan Stewart and welcome to Cleaner Watt. When it comes to comparing one vehicle to another, I think there are a lot of things that are very important, but in my opinion, the most important thing that you can consider is the safety of the vehicle. After all, the most valuable thing in your vehicle is yourself and your family. A human life cannot be replaced, a car can be. So let's dive into the data and see which one of these two vehicles is the safest. In the late summer of last year, there were articles like this TechCrunch article that came out saying that the Audi e-tron became the first all-electric vehicle to earn the IIHS top safety rating. And while this headline is completely true, it is a little bit misleading, and so is the text within the article which says, quote, The 2019 Audi e-tron has become the first battery electric vehicle to earn a top safety rating from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety an achievement that Tesla and other electric models like the Chevy Bolt have not been able to capture. The last part of this quote is especially misleading because yes, the Model X does not have a top safety rating from the IIHS, but it has never been tested by the IIHS. However, the Tesla Model 3 was tested by the IIHS in 2019 and it received the top safety pick plus. First of all, I think it's important that we look at the Euro NCAP top ratings for three different categories. The first one is the safest vehicle overall. And you can see here on this chart that based on the Euro NCAP's overall rating, the Tesla Model 3 is number two on the list and the Tesla Model X is number five on the list of the overall safest vehicles. When it comes to the safety assist technology of Tesla's vehicles, the Tesla Model 3 is number one and the Tesla Model X is number two out of all the vehicles they have tested. And then when it comes to adult occupant safety, you can see that the Model X is number three on the list of all the vehicles they have tested. So as you can see, the Audi e-tron does not appear on these top lists, but let's look at it side by side compared to the Model X in each one of these categories. So the Euro NCAP organization did test the 2019 Audi e-tron and they gave it a five star overall rating. The Euro NCAP also tested the 2019 Tesla Model X and it also achieved a five star rating. Now let's dive into the details and percentages for each one of these categories and ratings. So when it comes to adult occupant safety, they award points in four different categories. The frontal offset deformable barrier, the front full width rigid barrier test, the whiplash rear impact, and the lateral impact. As you can see there on the top row, for both the passenger and the driver, the chest area was not as well protected as the legs and the head. There was adequate protection in each one of these categories, including the driver which had one of their legs which is not as protected as the other. So you can see as we move to the Tesla Model X, which of course got a better safety score in the adult occupant safety, you can see that the driver's chest and their leg went completely green, meaning it is much safer for them in this vehicle. Because of this increased safety for the chest and the leg area for the driver, the Tesla Model X achieved a higher score. Now another really important thing that the Euro NCAP organization test is the child occupant safety. And so for this particular category in the Audi e-tron, you can see that it earned a good rating for this 85%. And we'll talk about what the 85% means here in a minute. But when it comes to the frontal impact and the lateral impact, the Audi e-tron does an excellent job protecting the child occupant. For this particular rating, the Audi e-tron earned 23.3 out of 24 possible points. In the overall child occupant safety rating, the Model X tested 4% lower than the Audi e-tron. But within that, the frontal impact and lateral impact protection was very excellent for the Model X. And you can see there on this particular category, it earned 22.9 out of 24 points. Now, if you do the math, you can quickly realize that 22.9 out of 24 is not 81%. And the reason that each of these vehicles, the Audi e-tron and the Model X, have a little bit lower score based on this is because they actually rate it based on the child restraint systems that are built into the vehicle. When we talk about child restraint systems, we're simply talking about the ability to put car seats in the vehicle and the latch points and the different things that it has for making easy use of a car seat. 
in the Euro NCAP testing, they rank these vehicles based on what they have in these three categories whether or not they have an ISOFIX connection, which is an international standard system that allows you to fit a child in a car seat directly into the vehicle without using a seat belt, whether or not the vehicle can accommodate eye size seats, which are car seats that are based on the child's height rather than weight, and of course, where you can put a universal belted child restraint system, which means anywhere that you can put a child car seat where a standard belt will work. So don't let the 81% for the Tesla Model X and the 85% for the e-tron make you think that either of these vehicles is not safe for a child occupant. They both are. They just don't all have every single one of these child restraint system latches that the Euro NCAP would like to see. Next, let's dive into a really important category, and that is the safety assist features built into each of these vehicles. So as you can see, the Audi e-tron did struggle a little bit at nighttime with an adult crossing the road and also during the day with a cyclist crossing the road. This combined with the adequate rating on the emergency lane keeping and the human machine interface earned the Audi e-tron a safety assist score of 76%. The Tesla Model X, of course, did very well in all these tests, and it earned a rating of 94%. You can see these same tests where the Audi e-tron had some problems, the Model X did very well. The adult crossing the road at night, no problem. The cyclist crossing the road, no problem. On top of that, for each of the three categories, emergency lane keeping, lane keep assist, and the human machine interface, the Tesla Model X achieved four of four points and got a good rating in each of those categories. We're not gonna dive into the vulnerable road users or how the vehicle protects pedestrians it hits because I believe the safety assist features are more important than that because they keep them from hitting pedestrians in the first place. So here's how these vehicles stack up in this side-by-side -side comparison. The Model X has a higher percentage on adult occupant safety. The Audi e-tron has a slightly higher percentage for child occupant safety. And of course, the Model X does much better for their safety assist features at a 94% rating over 76% for the Audi e-tron. So based on this Euro NCAP testing, the Model X is clearly a safer vehicle. But let's dive into some further data from the NHTSA. According to the NHTSA, the overall safety rating for the 2020 Audi e-tron is a 5-star rating. But when it comes to the overall front star rating, it earned 4 out of 5 stars. The NHTSA rating for the Tesla Model X is also a 5-star rating, but on top of that, for the frontal crash, it also achieved a 5-star rating. One other number that I'd like to look at that the NHTSA does list for each of these vehicles is what is the rollover percentage risk for these SUVs. As you can see from this chart, the electric vehicles definitely have an advantage over their gas-burning counterparts. Because of the batteries found in these vehicles, both the Audi e-tron and the Tesla Model X have a very low center of gravity and it causes them to have a much lower rollover risk. The Audi e-tron and the Tesla Model X are virtually the same when it comes to rollover risk, but the Audi e-tron does slightly edge out the Model X with a 9.2% over the 9.3% for the Model X. So in the end, when you pull all this data together, the Model X is actually a slightly safer vehicle than the Audi e-tron. I believe if the IIHS were to actually test the Model X, and I believe they will at some point in the future, they will end up giving it a top safety pick, and in my opinion, probably a top safety pick plus. One other thing that I'd like to really emphasize at the end of this video is the fact that the Tesla Model X has a much more robust and much better safety assist system built in. Based on these numbers, statistically, it appears like the Model X will avoid more accidents than the Audi e-tron. And of course, the best way to stay safe in a vehicle is to avoid an accident altogether. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please click that like button because that'll help other people find the video as well. I also wanted to take a moment to thank all the new Patreons that have joined the Patreon community over the last week or so, and I do want to send a special thank you out to you guys. And these are the Patreons that support me every month and help me make this content and bring it to you. If you'd like to find out more information about the Patreon community I've set up and how you can support my work, you can find a link in the description below. Thank you so much.